So in this video, we're going to have a look at um, external exhibitions and uh, what they are, how to enter them, um, what, what, what it means and what you can uh, possibly achieve by uh, entering all these um, array of uh, exhibitions that happen all around the UK and indeed all around the world. So uh, we'll take a look at that, um, at that just now. So what is an exhibition? Exhibitions are generally organised by photographic groups in the UK and, and all over the world. Um, these groups can be camera clubs, they can be um, photographic organisations, um, arts foundations, pretty much anything that, um, that you know, have a photographic interest and uh, they collect um, images from either their country or all over the world to, uh, to sort of to get together in a kind of competition format to see who, who's the best. Um, anybody can enter them, you don't need to be a professional, you just need to be, I would say, a proficient um, photographer um, really to, to stand any chance of, of success um, but uh, literally anybody on the, on the planet can, can enter with any any images. Successful images um, are, are termed as accepted into the exhibition so what that means is they get all their um, images together that are, that are entered into the exhibition, they are reviewed by a panel of judges and those that are deemed to be um, of, a, of a certain quality and standard are um, accepted into an exhibition. And that ex acceptance rate normally runs anywhere from sort of 20 to 30 to percent. Um, they, they change from exhibition to exhibition, but um, they, they will take about the best, the best 20 to 30 percent of images into the exhibition and they will get what's called um, accepted. And accepted status is, is quite important. We'll come on to that in a, in a few minutes time. Um, so it, it is important that when you get an image accepted, the best images that are uh, put into those exhibitions uh, receive awards. And those awards can be things like gold medals, highly commends, commended, um, sometimes an honourable mention. Um, so basically a whole range of awards are available um, for, uh, for images that are put into uh, exhibitions. A lot of these exhibitions, um, in fact nearly all of them, have some kind of patronage from a photographic um, body or group, such as the, the PAGB, the Photographic Alliance of Great Britain, um, FIAP, uh, PSA, um, BPE here in the UK, so they, they all um, can have uh, photographic uh, patronages from different organisations, and once again that really means something with your accepted images. Um, because what happens is uh, when you get acceptances, you can use the number of acceptances to gain photographic distinctions. So for, for example, you may have seen people with uh, BP 5 star after their name or EFIAP or APSA or uh, I don't think that one exists actually, APSA, but uh, there, there is a PPSA, EPSA exists, um, A, FIAP. Uh, so there's a whole bunch of photographic distinctions that, that people can um, be awarded with um, as they go through their exhibition um, sort of journey almost. Um, and those photographic distinctions come from those photographic bodies that do that patronage. So the PAGB will award photographic distinctions, as will FIAP as will uh, the PSA, as will uh, the British uh, Photographic Exhibitions, or BPE. Now let's just take a look at some of those now. So BPE, um, the distinctions that are available to you are generally uh, BPE 1 star through 5, um, then there's an A BPE and an F BPE. And to get a BPE 1 star, you need 25 acceptances in a BPE um, exhibition, uh, a, a, an exhibition that's got a BPE patronage, always sponsored by the BPE. Um, and those are all UK um, exhibitions. So you simply need 25 acceptances. Now that's, um, that sounds easy, it's not that easy. Um, BPEs are probably some of the hardest ones to get, even harder than the FIAP and the PSA ones. Um, and they, and they are they are limited to ones in the UK. There's about twenty or so um, BPE uh, exhibitions in the UK each year. So if you're getting to the point where you're a BPE five star, you've had three hundred images accepted into um, exhibitions in in the UK in, with BPE status. Now that's quite difficult because there are certain rules around the use of images. So for example, if you take an image and put it into an exhibition and that gets accepted you cannot use the same image in the same exhibition the following year. So you do need a number of images to be able to do this. 
Yes, you can take the same image and put it into every exhibition, every different exhibition in the UK, you know, over, over a year. Um, so that could go into 20 separate exhibitions and get accepted 20 times, and that would be 20 acceptances from one image. Um, but you do need multiple images to be doing this because you can't enter the same image multiple times when it's been accepted. Moving along, let's take a look at FIAP. FIAP is the, um, the, the International Federation of Photographic Art, or in French, I'm not going to try and say it, Federation, whatever it is. Um, and, uh, and this is a worldwide organization and they sponsor or, or, or provide their patronage to um, uh, exhibitions literally all over the world, um, whether it be from Toronto right the way through to uh, Japan and Australia and North America or in the Middle East, wherever there, there is an exhibition, that they, they can apply for um, uh, fiat patronage. Now, the rules around fiat are a little bit different. Um, they're, they're, their entry level distinction is something called an A fiat, and uh, so to get an A fee up, you need 40 acceptances, but that's very specific in how they build that up. You've got to have at least 15 different exhibitions. So you can't just get 40 acceptances from one exhibition, if that was possible. Um, you've got to get 40 acceptances from 15 exhibitions. Those exhibitions have got to be in eight different countries. And you've got to have a minimum of 15 image contributing to those 40 acceptances. And they also say that for those titles, for those images, have got to be in print format. So, though Sophia are really um, trying to push print, and it's a great thing because print is a wonderful format. So, um, print, I think, really brings a photo to life. So, to get your AFI app, four share acceptances in fifteen exhibitions in eight countries in in fifteen with fifteen different images, and four of those got to be in print. And you can see from the from the rest of the screen there that um, you know this gets more and more um, complicated. So, by the time you're you're through to um, your EFIAP Diamond 3, um, then you are, uh, you're, you're pretty much along the way of, you know, you're, you're into hundreds and hundreds of acceptances. And you're a very good photographer if you're, if you're, if you're getting to that level. The other popular one is the Photographic Society of America, the PSA. Um, they, they have a slightly different system again, and um, once again, it, it, it's not overly simple, although it looks quite simple on first glance. So, to get a one star as a, as a, as a, in the PSA, you need 18 acceptances with at least six different titles. For two stars, that doubles, 36 from 12, and then three doubles again, 72 from 24. And it keeps doubling up to five star. And once you've done got, got into your star ratings, then you can start to look at, um, the, the, the other set of uh, distinctions, which is the proficiency of the PSA, which is a straight 288 acceptances, and an excellence is 700 acceptances. Now, the thing about the PSA, particularly in the star ratings, is they they run sections. So there, there's a, 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 a PID section in colour, there's a mono section, a nature, a travel photography, a photojournalism, there's print sections, and and what you, what you have to do is you have to get your star ratings in each of those individual sections. Um, so you may find yourself with a, a two star rating in, in projected color, a one star rating in nature, a three star rating in photo travel or whatever. So you, you have to put your images into very specific sections when you're, uh, when you're doing PSA. When you, when you get onto the uh, proficiency, the excellence and, the, and the, the master, the stuff on the right, then um, it is just general level of acceptances but for your star ratings it is very much section um section driven and there are other there are other distinctions you can get from from these organizations i'm just kind of highlighting the the, the more popular ones so how do we ex enter some of these exhibitions well all the exhibitions are listed on uh, each of the uh, patrons website so the fiap website the psa website and the bpe website and let's just take a look at some of those now So this is the BPE website, um, the British Photographic Exhibitions website. This is where you get your crowns or your, your, your stars. Um, so they have uh, on their website uh, a list of all their exhibitions, a bit of instruction from them. Um, uh, so these are all the exhibitions. There are, I think, 19 of them at the moment. Um, and it shows you what month they, they appear in, uh, they, 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 they run, and, uh, and a link to the website. So you just literally link to that website, and, uh, and away you go. Um, uh, there's, there's also uh, how to get your awards. So this how to do your uh, 
do do your uh, do your awards there and how to get get going on that. So a really really useful website, uh, great for BPEs obviously. Um, uh, and then let yeah. So next, let's have a look at PSA. PSA is a little bit different. Um, bit of a bigger organization than, than BP, lots of information on here, um, on, on their website. There is a fee to be a, 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 a PSA member, um, and, and that fee, I think it's about $40 a year. Um, but uh, yeah, you, you get access to the website, there's lots of information, you get this, the PSA journal sent to you every every month or so. Um, and But the really key thing is uh, exhibition. So let's go and have a look at the exhibitions. They have an exhibition section, um, and let's have a look at the current exhibition list. Uh, let's then go and have a look at the stuff that we can do in color. Here we go. So these are all the current uh, exhibitions. I, they chop it down every now and again, so it does, this isn't too long. Um, so 2017, and as you can see, there are many, many, many exhibitions. There are literally hundreds of them um, each year for uh, for the PSA. And um, really, all you need to do is uh, you pick one. Uh, this is one in, in India. I don't know what that is. A galaxy. Society um, and uh, internet's running a little bit slow. There we go. So you you could just enter your competition just here. Now you see it straight away. Our front page. This one's got uh, PSA uh, patronage, um, and that's the unique reference number for the exhibition. Um, it'll also be back on that on the PSA website we came from. Um, so the the thing to do here is then to to look about how to participate. There will be for all these exhibitions. There are very specific guidelines on. On the image quality that you need to put in, um, they vary from competition to competition or exhibition to exhibition. Um, you know, quite a common standard is uh, 1920 by 1080, which is uh, effectively a high resolution TV screen. A lot of these get judged on uh, on TV screens, um, where judges sit in front of a TV screen each, and uh, and they, they these TV screens are obviously calibrated to some in some way, and uh, and they and they judge in that way. But um, it is worth looking at because obviously UK ones tend now to be uh, 1600 by 1200. Um, you do see, particularly in India, um, quite a lower resolution one. Um, so it's, it's, you've got to be you've got to follow the resolution uh, guidelines for each for each image that you put in. Let's go back to the PSA uh, website. Uh, there we go. Look at all these color things. So the the key things here, you get this number. Absolutely critical. Everyone will have a number. Um, so that's Smethic here in the UK. Uh, that runs, uh, that's gone now, 3rd of November. But if we just click that and open it up, we'll see here uh, the pat the patronage that, um, that Smethic have got. So any, any acceptance in Smethic is going to count towards FIAP distinctions, PSA distinctions if you're doing GPU. Um, and they've also got patronage from the, 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 the Royal um, Photographic Society and PAG. Although there are no... Um, Distinctions specifically, you can be awarded from acceptances from from these two, but these three definitely are GPU. We've not spoke about, but it does exist. Um, uh, PSA and and FIAP. Next, we'll, look at, we'll have a look at FIAP. Um, FIAP uh, got two websites really for FIAP. Um, there's FIAP.net and then there's uh, myfiap.net. FIAP.net is their general website. Shows you all about. Um, uh, what they do, how they do it. Um, there's a web page on distinctions. It is a notoriously slow, slow website. So, you know, be prepared to spend a bit of time on this website because it's not the fastest website in the world. Um, but it's got lots of great information. Um, let's leave that doing that. Well, we come along to myfiap.net. Myfiap.net is where you'll find all the exhibitions. Um, and once again, there are hundreds of them. Um, and, uh, you know, in here, there'll, there'll be a link. So they have also a unique reference number. Um, so all their exhibitions have a unique reference number. You click on it, it opens up a little bit more information. Um, tells you what country it's in, um, who's running it, the fee to enter, um, and then the, the link to the website. So this is, uh, this looks to be all about animal sorts. Going kind to of have a quick shifty at that. Um, there we go. So it's a, it's a dog with a bubble. Great. Um, but uh, yeah, that'll tell you how to how to enter that exhibition uh, on that web page, and uh, yeah, what the prices are if if you get acceptances and, and, and medals and things. Um, and then uh, the Fiat distinction is, is finally loaded, and um, and these are these are the distinctions that Fiat do, and, and how to uh, and how to enter them. So that's a brief summary of some of the website. You know, you're going to spend a lot of time on there, having a play around, having a look around, and get familiar with them, get familiar with the rules. 
of each competition, each exhibition, get familiar with the rules of distinctions and what you need to um, acquire and, uh, and you'll be well on your way. Great. So all these exhibitions, they have a fee. Um, some are quite low, others are really quite high. Um, the BPEs tend to run um, sort of around about 20, 15, 10, 15, 20 pounds to, to enter. And the, the, the worldwide the FIAP stuff and the PSA stuff, they can be quite inexpensive. Once again, they can be as little as 15, 20 dollars. Well, they're quite, quite expensive. You can pay 50, 60, 70 dollars to, um, to, uh, to, to, to apply to some of these exhibitions. Um, let's not let's not hide ourselves. These are money making activities for some for somebody. Somebody who's making money from this, whether that be for a charitable cause or for their own group. Um, but there there is there is always a degree of uh, funding involved. Um, the BPEs are, are very much standalone. They are UK centric. Um, I think they're all in the UK, um, and you will not get uh, any other patronage with a BPE um, uh, ex exhibition. However. PSA and FIAP frequently provide patronage to the same exhibition. And that's really something to look out for because if you've got an exhibition that's got um, two organizations backing it, then you can literally use your images into two different uh, distinction schemes. So if you take an image that's got PSA and FIAP uh, patronage, then you can use that image, uh, use that acceptance for both FIAP and PSA. If they do not have um, their patrons, you cannot use their image for um, for their for their distinctions. There is an exception, and, and there are other groups. Um, the, the, the GPU, the Global Photographic Union, um, they allow you to use images from any exhibition, whether they sponsor it or not, um, uh, towards their credits. But I've not, I've not really mentioned BP, uh, the GPU in here. Um, it's not quite as popular as, as the others. Um, but take a look at their website. They, they do have quite a lot of stuff going on. Um, in terms of value for money, um, because obviously you, you are paying a fee for this, um, there, there is a, th a thing called the circuit, which is an exhibition that is organised by by one group of uh, by one organisation, but then it will be judged many times, um, and you will get acceptances into different. You know, you can get multiple acceptances from the same image and the same circuit, and the, and the fee is slightly higher for a circuit. But to be fair. Um, uh, expert, you know, judging on judging, it, it can be it can be significantly lower um, as as a value for money rating. So circuits are something to really watch out for. Um, as I say, you put one image in, um, and that can be judged four times and potentially get four acceptances, um, or however many uh, groups are in that are in that circuit. One thing that's absolutely critical when you're starting to play uh, the exhibition game is your image titles. Um, once you start using an image and, and its title, you really can't uh, change it um, because you need to be absolutely consistent with your image titles so that uh, you don't cause confusion and you don't get anything disqualified. If they find that you've used the same image with two titles, um, it will be disqualified and you, and you don't want that to happen. Either disqualified, mainly disqualified at the point where you're, um, you're applying for your distinctions. Um, you can't enter the same image into the same exhibition the following year if it's been accepted. Um, if it failed and it, and it didn't uh, get an acceptance, then yes, you can put it back in and try again. But if it's been accepted, then you can't use the same image. Um, there are slightly, you have to do the rules for some of these things. Um, so for example, if you've got a mono image um, based on a color image, you can use the color image and then you can create a mono from the same image in certain circumstances with a different title and you can use that, although technically it's a different image because it's mono versus color, um, uh, but it came from the same raw file or the same photograph and they would count it as, as two different images, but it would generally go in a different category, it generally go into the mono categories. And so that is something that, um, that, that is worth checking out. Um, as a general rule, you can't use the same image once it's been accepted, but there are there are um, some, some grey areas around that, particularly around mono, so it's worth checking out the rules. And the final thing is you need to keep absolutely accurate records because when you get an acceptance into, uh, into a competition or an, an, an exhibition, then you will be able to use that to get your distinctions. And the distinction system requires on really requires really accurate records to be kept. If you're not keeping accurate records, you're going to really struggle when it comes to completing the paperwork. Uh, for for your distinctions, and then they will spot the errors um, because they keep very good records themselves. All the organisations have to send the results 
um, of their exhibitions and what's accepted to um, to FIAP or PSA or whoever's given their patronage. And uh, and when you when you apply for your distinction, you will, your images will be checked against those records. So your records need to be absolutely spot on. To help you keep your records, there's a system that you can use. Um, it's written by Adrian Lines. It's an absolutely fantastic uh, solution. It's uh, it's an online website. It's free. Um, there's the uh, there's the URL there, cimgx.com, and, uh, and and it is really useful. Well, let's take a look at that now. So this is the website that was written by um, Adrian Lines to help people uh, manage their uh, exhibition entries. And um, I use it uh, quite a lot, um, as do a lot of other people. And so let's just log in. And uh, it's free to use this website, so you don't need to be paying any money. And uh, basically, on the front page, we've got here a bit of a calendar that shows uh, some of the uh, exhibitions that are, that are upcoming. And they're also listed down below. The, these exhibitions here are uh, well, the ones that have been put in by um, administrators. Um, it is not a comprehensive list by any means. There are many, many, many others. Go to the website of uh, PSA, uh, FIAP, or uh, or the BPE and get a full list um, and then you can create your own entries in, in here um, but there are a few to, to get you going um, and this one and this uh, this simple table view here shows you know how long you've got till that exhibition closes ie your, your entry has got to be in by um, what it's called which country it's in how many sections it's got if it accepts prints or not um, and then uh, who it's got affiliation to it's its patronage so BPE Fiat, PSE, etc. And then there's a link to the website as well, so you can just go there and, and do your entries. Um, so when you come into the competition area um, and look at your entered list, this is where the value really starts to uh, to hit home. So here we have um, some of the things that I've been doing. I've not done any for, for quite a while now. Um, uh, I've kind of just paused my uh, exhibition work at the moment, which is absolutely fine, I think. And uh, so we took a look at, uh, I don't know, Gold Coast, look at Marlborough, Marlborough sounds like Maryborough. That's quite. Uh, Cool. So there we go. So this is an exhibition that was in uh, Australia. Um, these are the images that uh, that I put into it, and uh, this is how I, I fared. So I got about fifty percent acceptance rate, which for me that's uh, that's okay. I'm really pleased with that, um, and I got an honourable mention. So um, the the good thing about this is it, it shows you which images were in which categories they were in. It tells you. Um, uh, you know the, the, the categories up there. Um, we've got all the details of the website here, so the, the, the exhibition here. Um, the system knows whether it's a BPE or an FP uh, FIAP, what sort of competition it is, so it can categorise that a little bit later on. Um, and then the the entries that I put in, I pulled them from my portfolio, um, which you can upload separately. And then um, the score that was received and any awards that that came with that. Um, so the, the good thing also is you, if you hover over an image, then um, you'll see where that image uh, has been used um, and uh, any, any awards that it's that it's won. So um, it's quite a, quite an extensive uh, feature set in this in this website. If we go back to the main menu, um, uh, we can come back into competitions and just randomly look at another one. Uh, my entered list. Uh, so let's look at the Gold Coast. Um, once again, uh, you know, similar sort of thing, Very, but it really enables you to just monitor and manage which images have been uh, have been put in where. Now you do have a portfolio in here, so you can go to your image portfolio, it shows you all your, all your images, um, and you can add new ones. Um, so, you know, th these are quite new ones that I've put in, not, not, I've only used them once, not done awfully well with them. Um, so I probably won't use them anymore um, quite, but you can put them in and at that time you tell it whether it's a landscape or a, or a, a creative or, or, or whatever type of image you, you believe it to be. Um, if you want to um, enter an exhibition that isn't on this list, that's absolutely fine. You can come along and, uh, and just use the uh, personal uh, uh, site, uh, area of the site and just literally type in your own details there and then create that um, Create that exhibition of the system, and you can and you can then go and uh, and use that. So really, uh, just a really simple website. It's probably not simple to create, but it, it works really simply um, and uh, adds a lot of value. The final thing is reports analysis. You can see quite quickly. You know, you can, you can have a look at all the reports for the different fee apps. So the 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 competitions are are tagged against um, are tagged against uh, different. Uh, 
the different uh, organizations so it starts to create reports on uh, on what's on what's going on for you and then finally there is uh, there is a display images feature that shows you some of your images uh, and which which are the most successful um, and which are not so you get, you've got a quick view there as to which images have done really well for you and if you've not put them in exhibition before you might want to consider putting those in again so that's uh, that's Hadrian's website, and uh, yeah, hope it uh, hope it brings you a bit of value. I re do recommend you use it because uh, it, it does add uh, it does add quite a bit. So when you've got that website going um, or or any other record solution, then uh, it's absolutely key. I also keep a spreadsheet um, just for my acceptances. Um, so I use I use the website there for for all my entries into all the different exhibitions that I've that I've done in the past. Um, and when I get an acceptance, I do, I do actually put it into a spreadsheet. That just makes it a little bit easier for me to keep track of exactly where I'm up to. Um, and, uh, and when it comes to filling in the paperwork, it, it's just a little bit easier as well. So some useful websites here. Um, there we go. There's the Fiat website, the PSA website, the BPE website, and uh, the image management website. Um, all for you there. Go and take a look. Um, it is an exciting thing to do. It, it, it can be quite addictive. It can cost you quite a little bit of money. Um, you know, the people that are at the top end of this uh, exhibition game, you know, they they've they are in the in, in the realms of um, you know spending probably thousands of dollars or thousands of pounds into uh, their, their overall uh, exhibition journey. But the the accolades you can get, the distinctions you can get, can really make it worth it. And when you get your first um, gold medal through the post um, it's an amazing feeling um, for all these exhibitions you normally get a catalog um, so uh, something will come through the post a book will come through the post with all the accepted images in um, and some uh, awarded images and some fantastic photography in these in these uh, catalogs that come through to you so it absolutely is um, it will you will learn about photography your photography will get better just by taking part in these exhibitions and even if you're not successful, looking at the images that are successful will inspire you to do better next time. Great, so that's uh, that's the end of the presentation. And uh, yeah, thanks for thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.